So in this video, I'm gonna be taking a rather tired and neglected Variac, sometimes called an auto transformer, that was made in England many moons ago. We're gonna be giving it a bit of a refresh and making it look like this. Now, this isn't exactly a restoration video per se because it's not exactly all original anymore, but we're gonna give it a refresh, lick a paint, some dials on the front and make it work again. And of course, some of you might be wondering, well, what is a Variac or auto transformer? So I'll give you the quick 10 second version of that, and then we're gonna get into tearing this down and giving it a refresh. So what does an auto transformer do exactly? Well, the power outlets in your home provide a fixed voltage. Depending on where you live, this might be anywhere between 100 to 240 volts. Here in New Zealand, it's around about 230 volts. An auto transformer can take this fixed voltage, and by turning the auto transformer's dial, you can adjust the output voltage lower or higher than the input voltage. This can be incredibly useful for testing equipment and varying the amount of power a device plugged into the auto transformer receives. For example, I can control the speed of my jigsaw motor with the use of my auto transformer. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's start disassembling the auto transformer. With the cover removed, we get our first glimpse of the transformer inside. Here is a graphite wiper which moves over the windings when the dial is turned. The wiper makes contact with the transformer's windings to change the winding ratio which ultimately allows you to vary the output voltage. The info plate lacks any markings. Perhaps there was writing on the plate, but if there were, it's long gone now. I've bought a set of analog meters to measure the output current and voltage.
Rivet nuts are incredibly useful for adding threads to thin sheet metal. Definitely worth having in your toolbox arsenal. Now I'd greatly appreciate your feedback on this video as it's a little bit different of a format for my channel. It's normally I'm showing you how to make something, modify something, review something and so on. So let me know your thoughts on this video and if you'd like to see more videos similar to this in the future down in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that like button, helps my channel grow and thanks to all my Patreon supporters. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.